Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to start Halloween makeup. I'm also filming for my TikTok videos, like transitions and stuff. So let's just hope it all just goes smooth. So I do have my beautiful headband. I got this from Ulta. So cute. I also have all my brushes here. I'm so ready. I have my big, small, mediums, tiny ones, just literally all of them, all in here. They might be dirty. Some of them might be dirty. I am going to tell you guys, for a lot of my Halloween makeup looks, I live for Wet n Wild. I get their Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers palettes. I have two of the same ones. Um, but you'll see, I'll have to like mix some other things, like some other products to get the color that I need for specific makeup looks. But anybody can do it. To start off this makeup look, I'm going to go ahead and do my natural base. Eyebrows... You know, face, blush, bronzer, all of that. I'm going to go ahead with the NYX Professional Makeup, the brow glue. So I'm going to go in with this first. Since it does have color in it already, you don't really need to fill them in so much. But the glue itself will keep them in place. So you're really doing both in one. The gel and the, the filling them in part. Like, can you tell? It's so good. It does all the work for you. Now I'm going to do the other side. One eyebrow does have more hair than the other brows. So I do tend to fill them in with um, a pencil. But nothing too crazy. Then I'm going to take one of these brushes right here. And I bend it. And then I'm just going to, like, shape them. And then that's where I'll see where I need to fill them in. And then we can shape them with concealer. Depending on how thick I want them. Or thin. And there you go. This eyebrow is clearly darker than this one. Because Tiene Mas Pelos it has more hair to her. So that's why I filled this one in a little bit tad more so now i'm gonna go in with my morphe definer brown pencil and chocolate mousse i absolutely love this pencil it does have a shape to her i don't know if you can tell now because of the gel already you already know the placement on how you want to line your eyebrow so the concealing will be so much easier So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M421 uh, concealer brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my foundation as my concealer. I use the Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation plus concealer in Creamy Vanilla. And I live by this drugstore foundation. If you want to start doing makeup, if you like full coverage, and it's literally um, cruelty-free, I highly recommend this brand. This is the foundation that I'm going to be using as my foundation and concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and follow the line of the pencil and then just blend it in and done. See how it just shapes it like from the bottom that when you you know with the spoolie you just shape it you don't really need to do a lot of it on top. And it looks so good. That's why I really recommend that eyebrow product, honestly. Just remember when you do your eyebrows, your eyebrows are not twins. They're hermanas. They're sisters. So if they don't come out even, it's okay. Now on my left eye, we're going to do an easy, natural eyeshadow look. And on this side is where we're going to end up doing all the scars and bruises, you know. I'm going to go ahead and use my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. If you haven't used this product or any other products, I highly recommend it. Smell it. Just smell it. It literally smells like butter. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend this bronzer um, on my crease. Oh, and I'm using just a random blending elf brush. She's very, very old, but... She works so good. So now I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty highlighter. And she has like a very light, creamy color on there. So I'm going to put that on my lid right here. 
Can you see that? Just a little sparkle, some pizzazz. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on our foundation. Lately, I've been a brush gal. I've never been into brushes, just like beauty blenders, because I just can't, for some reason, I just couldn't get myself into it. I feel like it always looks streaky. But I think I got in the hang of it now, and I'm actually so proud of myself. So I am using that Milani foundation, and I'm using a brush from Wet n Wild. So I do go in with my brush, but I later, when I'm done with my brush, I go in with my beauty blender. This is from Eco Tools. Obsessed with the, that brand. I put a little bit of foundation on there. I just go where my brush just wasn't able to go like near my eyebrows and stuff but I also go through my face again just to make sure it's really blended in there now for concealer I'm gonna go ahead and use the iconic Maybelline instant age rewind eraser concealer I'm also gonna go ahead with the other one it's the same same concealer same brand it's just this one is in the color but it's the number 149 and this one was in the color ivory so this one i use for my contour and then the other one clearly i use it for my concealer and my under eyes and basically my t-zone and i let the concealer sit because it'll give you way more of a full coverage. Now I'm going to go ahead in my Real Techniques Concealer Brush. I have been obsessed using this. Dab it and just let it work through that concealer. Using these brushes kind of really do give you that airbrush look. Now for my contour, I'm going to go ahead and use this NYX Professional Makeup Brush. And this is also for foundation. I like how it's angled, so it really helps with the blending. Let's see just how smooth it blends it out, ready? That's why when I do this contour, I don't really put on a lot because a little goes a long way, if you can't tell. But you're just gonna see how well this blends, like this brush. No wonder it's used for foundation, but I don't use it for foundation. Like, look at that blend, you guys. And you can go up with it. So good. So good. Now I'm going to go ahead with my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. So good for the price. I believe this is like 4 or $3. And I'm going to use this little fluffy sponge that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and go where I conceal. And then we'll eventually work down. By going down, I mean everywhere I crease. I literally crease. Everybody creases right here. Their smile lines, you know. I get oily right here and up here as well. If I'm looking up here, it's my little screen. I'm so used to just looking at that. I usually tend to use only creams, but because we're going to be doing a lot of gems and a lot of paint, like color, um, we're just gonna do powders today. We're gonna go in with our butter bronzer. We're just gonna go over where we contoured. I'm gonna go ahead in my blush. I believe this is Revlon. And this blush, for me, it's like a dupe of the Dior. It's literally the perfect pink. And this is in Twinkle Pink. So I'm just gonna go in. Cheeks go up. And then I put some on my forehead. On my chin. I know a lot of people think that's weird. But I've always put blush on my chin. Okay, now we're done with my base. Now we get to go into the fun part. Then I'm going to go in with a smaller eyebrow pencil. This is from NYX. Get closer with you guys. I have my hair up, which I think might be a better idea than me having my hair down. So I'm thinking we're going to go in... Like that. Actually, I think I'm going to go all the way on the nose. So we're going to go... That long. We're going to go in the brow. And just go straight up. Do one on the chin. 
Just straight down. I'm gonna make it go like this way. A little bit more out. Mm. Do the lip like that. Ooh, I can like I can just envision it. I can just envision it. Right here. Then we can go that way. Do one right there. I'm gonna do Or something like a triangle right here. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna conceal this really quick. And we're going out like that. Okay, cool. Now that we have our draft, <laughs> we're gonna actually try try it now. I think I'm gonna try and use a makeup brush. This is the Morphe M508 brush. This is just flat, like so. I'm gonna go in with the darker red not the dark red but this bright red and then i'm gonna go in with this dark one um on the outside okay you guys ready <laughs> thing i'm yellow i'm scared okay we're gonna go in with the i'm gonna go in with this first okay <gasps> oh my gosh it looks like blood and it's okay if you mess up because his scars are literally cracking and looking so crusty you know what i mean I'm just gonna go over my brow. I'm gonna do one right here. And then I literally dip this pencil in that paint once. Like this has so much product in it. Okay, I think that looks so cool. It is a bit lighter right here. Um, if you can tell. But it's okay because we're going to go in with the darker color. For the darker color, I'm going to go in with a brush like this. I'm going to go in with the darker red right here. I'm just going to like... Like, mm, just pat it on there. Make it look just like these are old bruises, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go in and just fix up the line. Because I like how red this looks. And see how that, like, it just disappears. So I'm just going to go back into it. Okay, so that's what we have for the scars. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this with a eyeshadow brush and just go over my eyes. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. She's flat. She's flat, but she's big. And just go on my eyelid. I'm going to take some product off. I'm just going to blend it up. I'm just blend it going up that triangle. And just go like this. Remember, we are going to add some rhinestones, so it's going to look really cool. The exciting part, I have these rhinestones that came in a pack of five, I believe, from Amazon. And I think I'm going to go ahead and probably mix this red and this red. But we are going to use these silver ones for, like, bandages. So I think that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and do my bandages first. So I'm going to go ahead and do one up there. That's one scar. So I am using um, eyelash glue. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the bandages and then I'll be right back. Guys, right, so now for a very long time, I got my bandages on. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix 
this red and these red and I'm just gonna go down the line and what I found easiest for me is I got the the eyelash glue and I just did like dots and then I grabbed each rhinestones and I put it on there um it was a it's it's crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera as well it's just very time consuming but I'll be back um I'll probably be back with my lashes and hair done so yeah you guys I'm so sorry but my camera ended up dying and it's been charging for so long and it's still not even done charging but this is the final result I actually love the way it turned out I left my hair just messy out of the ponytail because his hair is always so crazy but yeah and i hope you guys recreate this look it's pretty simple pretty cute you know if you go to halloween parties whatever maybe but yeah i really liked it but more to come i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup halloween look video and i'll see you guys in my next one